prime Neymar Jr., the Brazilian magician who made defenders everywhere feel like they were on a merry-go-round. The one who made you stop whatever you were doing just to watch him play. Before all the controversies, injuries and drama, there was a version of Neymar that was simply unstoppable. Neymar had this flair that you just couldn't teach. He would dance past defenders like they were cones in a training session. It was all about those quick feet, unpredictable movements and that Brazilian swagger. You never knew what he was gonna do next. Flip flap, rainbow flick, elastico, you name it, he had it. When Neymar Jr. burst onto the scene, he was like a comet. Bright, thrilling and impossible to ignore. It was July 27, 2011 and the 19-year-old Brazilian was dancing through defenders in a Santos shirt like he was playing a different game. That magical goal where he skated around defenders and flicked the ball past the keeper wasn't just a goal. It was a masterpiece that won him the Puskas Award. It was his grand debut to the world. Fast forward 13 years and Neymar's shining star has been dimmed by a series of unfortunate injuries. Now 32, Neymar's move to Al Hilal in the Saudi Pro League is like the final nail in his career's coffin. He's been out of the game for a while now, and ever since he left Barcelona, it's been a roller coaster downhill. But if you think Neymar isn't in the GO debate, let me tell you, you might have missed out on a legend. Neymar in his prime was nothing short of electrifying. From his early days at Santos to his insane stint at Barcelona, and even his time at PSG, this dude redefined what it meant to be a baller. Before he became a household name in Europe, Neymar was already a superstar in Brazil. At Santos, where he started as a fresh-faced 17-year-old, Neymar was an instant sensation. He had this explosive mix of pace, flair and confidence that turned heads from day one. In his debut season, he scored 14 goals and quickly became the talk of the town. By the time he was 18, he'd scored 43 goals in just 63 games. It was clear, he wasn't just good, he was special. Neymar's dribbling style at Santos was unlike anything the Brazilian league had seen in years. His quick feet and unpredictable moves made defenders look like they were stuck in slow motion. He didn't just beat defenders, he embarrassed them. That flair and fearlessness helped him win the South American Footballer of the Year award and lead Santos to their first continental championship since the days of Pele. Neymar was already building a legacy. Fast forward to 2013, Neymar made the leap to Barcelona, a move that everyone knew was inevitable. For Neymar, Europe was where he'd prove himself on the global stage. Snubbing offers from every major club, he signed with Barcelona for 57 million euros. And here's where his legend truly began. Neymar joined a team that already had Lionel Messi, the world's best player at the time. Some thought he'd struggle to shine in Messi's shadow, but Neymar had other plans. His debut season had its ups and downs, but Neymar started to show flashes of what he was capable of. By the 2014-15 season, with Luis Suarez joining him and Messi in attack, Neymar exploded. The MSN trio was born and they were unstoppable. This front three, Messi, Suarez, Neymar, was the most lethal attack football had ever seen. They had a telepathic connection, each one bringing a different flavor to the game. Neymar was the flair and unpredictability, Messi the magician, and Suarez the ruthless finisher. Together, they tore apart defenses like it was child's play. During his prime at Barcelona, Neymar's stats were off the charts. In the 2014-15 season, he scored 39 goals and added 10 assists. The MSN trio combined for 122 goals, breaking records left and right. Neymar was vital in their Champions League run, scoring 10 goals, 7 of which came in the knockout stages. He didn't just score in any games, he scored in the big ones, including the Champions League final. The next season, he didn't slow down. Neymar bagged 24 league goals and 16 assists, helping Barca to another domestic double. His 31 goals and 25 assists that season proved he was more than just a goal scorer. He was a complete forward who could create assist and score with equal brilliance. Neymar's most iconic moment in a Barca shirt? Easy, the remontada. In the 2016-17 Champions League, Barcelona found themselves down 4-0 to PSG after the first leg. People rode them off, but then came the second leg and Neymar decided to take matters into his own hands. With just minutes left and the aggregate still heavily against them, Neymar produced a masterclass. 
First, he won a penalty, weaving past Thomas Munier so effortlessly that Munier literally tripped over himself. Then came a sneaky free kick, followed by a penalty he converted himself. And the final act? A pinpoint chip to assist Sergi Roberto's winner in the 95th minute. That night, Neymar wasn't just good, he was unplayable. The world witnessed Neymar at his best. Fearless, relentless, and undeniably clutch. Comparing Neymar to other great dribblers like Ronaldinho, Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo is tough. But let's be real, Neymar brought his unique style to the game. While Messi's dribbling is all about close control and weaving through tight spaces, Neymar's is pure samba flair. He loves to humiliate defenders with nutmegs, flicks and his signature rainbow flick. It's not just about getting past a player, it's about doing it with swagger. Neymar's dribbling at Barcelona was crucial for the team's attacking style. Defenders would double, sometimes even triple team him. But he'd still find a way through, creating space for Messi and Suarez to operate. His footwork and agility made him almost impossible to mark. Defenders didn't know whether to back off or go in for a challenge because either way, they'd probably end up on a highlight reel. In 2017, Neymar shocked the football world by leaving Barcelona for PSG in a record-breaking 222 million euro move. People questioned the decision saying he was leaving Messi's shadow to become his own man but was PSG the right place? Yeah, his move to PSG might not have been perfect but let's not act like he was going to a small-time club. Paris Saint-Germain was on the rise and Neymar was brought in to be the main man. And while it hasn't always gone to plan, that doesn't erase everything he's achieved. Just a few years back from now, in one of the most intense World Cup moments, Neymar pulled off something straight out of a video game. Brazil was up against Croatia in the quarterfinals, and with the score stuck at 0-0 in extra time, Neymar decided he'd had enough. With the ball at his feet and practically the whole Croatian squad in his way, he danced through their midfield and defense with two quick 1-2s, rounded the keeper and slotted it into an empty net. 7 seconds, 5 touches, and he made an entire team look like amateur. But here's the thing, nobody talked much about that goal. Why? Because Brazil lost on penalties, and Neymar often doesn't get the credit he deserves. Sure, he can be frustrating to watch sometimes. He's flashy, a bit theatrical, and doesn't always come off as the most likable guy. But come on, he just broke Pelé's all-time Brazil goal-scoring record. That's right. 79 goals for the national team, more than the king himself. People love to argue that Neymar didn't live up to his potential, but they're overlooking a lot. He's one of only 13 players to have won both the Copa Libertadores and the Champions League, and he's the only one to have scored in both finals. His European career, while not perfect, has probably been better than any other Brazilian forward. Think about the other Brazilian superstars of the modern era. Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and Kaka. None of them sustained their quality in Europe as long as Neymar. Ronaldo, the original one, only won one league title in 14 years in Europe and never even made it to a Champions League final. Rivaldo had a world-class run that lasted about five years. Ronaldinho was basically done by 28, and Kaka lost his way as soon as he moved to Real Madrid. But Neymar, he's been balling out for over a decade from his early days at Barcelona, where he was instrumental in that 6-1 comeback against PSG, to his time at PSG where he's kept putting in top performances despite injuries and setbacks. Let's not forget Neymar has never really gone through a serious slump like some other football legends. Look at Zidane after the 1998 World Cup or Andriy Shevchenko after his big money move to Chelsea. Even Michael Owen had a pretty dismal second half of his career, but Neymar, he's kept his form despite the ups and downs. Tim Vickery, a well-respected South American football journalist, once said that for Brazilian players, their true passion lies with their first club and their national team. And Neymar has always shown up for Brazil. Remember 2014? The pressure on him was insane and he was delivering until a brutal injury took him out. In 2018, he carried Brazil to the quarterfinals and in 2022, he provided a moment of magic against Croatia. Even though his team let him down in the end, Neymar might not have won a World Cup, but neither did Zico and no one holds that against him and he did bring home Olympic gold for Brazil in 2016, scoring in the quarterfinals 
semi-finals and the winning penalty in the final. For Brazil, that was huge. The problem for Neymar is that he was labeled the next superstar in the era right after Messi and Ronaldo. Those two are total freaks. Their peaks and longevity are almost impossible to match. But just because Neymar didn't reach their level doesn't mean he isn't one of the greats. Look, you might think Neymar's career could have been even better, but compare him to someone like Ganso, a player who emerged from Santos at the same time. Ganso barely made it in Europe, while Neymar became Brazil's all-time top scorer and left his mark in both South America and Europe. To say Neymar wasted his talent is just unfair. He's Brazil's all-time record goal scorer and the only player to score in both Champions League and Copa Libertadores finals. He deserves to be remembered as one of football's best not just as what could have been. Looking at his time at Santos, Barcelona and PSG, it's clear that Neymar has been one of the most gifted players of his generation. At Barcelona, he proved he could shine alongside Messi and Suarez, forming one of the most formidable trios ever. He was more than just a sidekick. He was a showstopper in his own right. At PSG, he took on a new challenge, stepping out of Messi's shadow to lead a team on his terms. Prime Neymar wasn't just a player, he was an experience. Whether you loved him or hated him, you couldn't ignore him. He was the guy who made you want to watch football. Because with Neymar, you knew something special could happen at any moment. Even now, past his peak, Neymar still has those flashes of brilliance. But in his prime, man, he was untouchable a Brazilian magician who could turn a game on its head with a single touch, a player who brought joy, excitement and unpredictability every time he stepped on the pitch. Prime Neymar was more than a name, he was a phenomenon. Thanks for watching! If you loved reliving Prime Neymar's magic, smash that like button, subscribe and let us know your favorite Neymar moment in the comments. See you next time!